Hello, it's Marie Louise back with another story for you. Why so glum, little one? A tiny voice awoke her from a stupor. She looked around. There was no one in sight. Who said that? She asked frightfully. It was me, silly. Same voice, still no one. Where are you? She asked, somewhat fearful of the answer. Right in front of you, darling. Emily looked down. There was a ladybug on her knee. I noticed you sulking with your head down, weeping and sighing away. Yes, Emily admitted. I would like to help you if I may. Help me? How? Emily questioned doubtingly. Yes, help you. Well, I have a story to share with you. Please listen carefully. Emily nodded slowly. I will, she replied. What is this, she wondered. Emily listened intently. I once had a friend who would visit me every day. We sat in the sun together, eating leaves. My friend looked at me one morning and said, I will be gone soon. I really enjoyed the time we've had together. Thank you for your friendship. I hope to see you again, although it is doubtful. I was shocked by these words, frozen in fear. What have I done to deserve this? I questioned myself over and over again. This was the best friend I ever had. My friend saw the obviously sullen look on my face and said, hey, life goes on. Trust me, you will be fine. If you ever fear or have doubt, remind yourself, Caddy said, I will be fine. It will help you out of any situation. Believe it, please, for me. Sigh. <sighs> my heart ached. My head was heavy and my eyes burned, boiling hot with tears. As they began to stream down my face one at a time, let it flow, I remembered hearing my friend say. Promise me you will rejoice with as much passion when you meet the friend who replaces me. With a wink, that was it, the last time I saw Caddy. I wept on the leaves where we used to eat together. Let it flow, ringing through my ears. Flap, flap, flap. Where is that sound coming from? A beautiful butterfly emerged from beneath the leaf. Stunning. Brilliant colors and magnificent sheen. May I join you? Of course, I quickly replied. My name is Flutterby, what's yours? Me, I'm Spot, I said proudly looking at my shell. What brings you here, I asked. Well, it just seems so familiar. I am new to the area, actually. I emerged from a cocoon close to here. Your voice, I've heard it before. Interesting, I muttered. What is, Flutterby asked. Uh, well, Caddy said I had to promise to rejoice with as much passion your arrival as her departure, I stated. Caddy, Flutterby asked. Yes, my best friend, I replied. Do you know her? Know her, Spot, I am her, Flutterby answered. I transformed. This is part of my journey. Wow, Flutterby, this is so cool. You look amazing, totally different than before. What did you do? I had faith. I always knew one day I would become a butterfly. How did you come up with your name? I asked inquisitively. I always believed it made more sense because that's what we do. We flutter by. Brilliant, I exclaimed. 
I was dancing on the leaf, beaming from ear to ear. I'm doing what I promised. It is much easier to wallow in misery than it is to stay excited and rejoice, though. Yes, Flutterby agreed. That is why I told you what I did. This is the key to transforming your life. What? I asked. Who said I wanted to transform my life? Okay, you got me there, Flutterby replied. I mean, help me understand, please, I begged. Okay, I wish I was going to say something else here. It's time for me to leave again. I have a very long journey ahead of me. I hope you will remember the lessons that I shared with you. You always have a choice spot. It is all up to you. You can turn it around. Go with the flow, Flutterby said sweetly. Wait, what? Go with the flow? How does that fit with you always have a choice? They go together, Flutterby replied. If we resist life, it gets harder. It will literally resist you. If we flow with life, we make our choices along the way and life flows with us just the same, offering choices again and again. How did you get so wise, Flutterby? I asked. I listen, Flutterby replied. I choose to remember and my heart is in charge. Wow, how did you get there? Many failures, teachers, and lives. I have been around. I have learned from experience, Flutterby responded. May your day be filled with magic and all the blessings of the multiverse. Thanks for listening.